Hi guys and girls, our following clip is quite an interesting one because it just shows the interaction between different catches. Now, we're a nice group of guys established in the Durban area, guys and girls, and um, we're always out to look out for each other. If I get a call from somebody else's area, I would refer to that, to that person, and the same if they got a call in my area, they would refer to me. And um, if anybody wasn't available, they would then ask an outsider to come into the area and to do the rescue. And um, if there was someone who wasn't capable, they would then call someone that is capable. This next clip is a clip that we took in a Voka, which is Devon North, which is traditionally uh, Universal Reptiles. Jason Arnold, a great mate of mine's territory and um, we have an understanding on boundaries and where we operate from but Jason was away the nearest next guy would be Snakes for Africa Byron Zimmerman but he was away so Dale Watkins came in to try and see what she could do she got there she was faced by a big mamba she wasn't confident she did the right thing and she got someone who could do it. I got the call and uh, shot out there and just had to do that do that call um, in support of everybody else in the area. So at the end of the day the animal comes first, the client comes first and it's a close tie. Conservation is the main objective and it doesn't matter who does it as long as it's done. So enjoy this clip, see the interaction between two different types. What? There's there's tongue. The head is coming to the side. Is his tongue the same? Oh, 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 oh. I had to turn the fence to you, you just sprayed in and you didn't know how to do it. Sure. Good life. Ah. Right in there. Now the snake won't bite it. Yeah. Right? Wow. So now, you can hang in there. Excuse the bag, it's dirty. It's had that far more than the three days. Wow. Have you not touched it? No, no. You want to come and touch it? Come touch it. Wow. Come here. Oh, that's a 
Right. Okay, I got it. Come, this mom. she's gone. This. <laughs> it's so strong. No way. If your dog at your head. I'll take the part of Nessa so you can get part of the rest of the part. Alright, cool. Yeah, they come like curry. Alright, alright. I'm going to give you part of the rest Oh gosh. Give me a kiss, Dad. No. Go, go, Let me go. Go, go, Let me go. What do you estimate the length to be? 3.7 meters, about 3.1 kilo. So it's a pretty big one. We don't have this kind of snake in the area. Where do you think it could have come from? I think this guy, he chucked in with somebody. Yeah. yeah, that pipe. Yeah, that pipe. pipe. Yeah, he hit the line that pipe. Those pipes. He has four things before here. Oh. Yeah. I'm just looking at the area here and no. it's right real he, residential. Yeah. No, he hit right. the line that pipe. Is those pipes came from Ottawa. Yeah, could be. Um, my stats on, on, on Black Mamba captures are catching Is 500 venom? meters of railway line. Is that the venom? Then 500 meters of road to take maybe foot traffic. There's 500 meters there. of stormwater feed streets yeah. or with uh, local housing and That's where we catch our moments for fucking a planet. Yeah, but that will come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to say this guy, I'm going to put that beside the H-Track, the H-Track thing. Look. It's a possibility that you could have multiple hitchhikers in here. Yes. Depending on where the people are working and where they're going every day and so on. There's a lot of mambas around there, guys. This is like the 82nd one for this year. Sure. But, uh, but if you're looking for a place where you can see that, you can see that. Yeah, I know. What, what we'll do is this will be released right in the reserve, west of the N2, far away from people. Sure. And you know it's not going to end up coming back again. Nice. Well done. Tough. All right, guys. Well, guys and girls, hope you guys enjoyed that clip. I felt a little scaly going into Jason's area and removing his snake. But you know what? If I'm away, as I am right now, balls will go to Jason in my area. So that's just the way it works, guys. It's all about delivering a service and doing it correctly. So, um, yes, yeah, Sam works in the mornings, so she'll do the ones in the afternoon. But um, if it's anything serious in the morning, Jason's the man. He's the guy who's going to go and do it. Right guys, remember to subscribe, push the bell button and uh, get an update on our next upload.